Ursa struggles against these AoE controls from like the Willow, the Ricky Silence. You have to get that. Oops. I'm yep. sure they'll make it. They chose to make it the five as well, well right? Focus. They did. Ooh, that shockwave dragging back focus. Do they have enough though? The shadow round, the boot comes out and down. Is feeling absolutely fine. Piece to the tower as well, so we can stay up there and get that experience. Oh, the, the roll down goes Topson with the under attack. What is going on? Skylark is, of course, taking that top tower. The roll in from Stoneman, and the teleports are coming out. That's a big silence coming through. Oh, but they have the ravage, even though they have that terrorizer going to fall off. Down goes Wish. These brambles holding them into place. Trying to use that bed lamin as well, but Skylark is very tanky. Curse Crown will block, though. Stoneman now running himself out. Thompson clicking away over here at Skylark. No tail. Go for a little bit of a dive here. Does not have that split already, though. It already went down during the earlier portion of the fight, so they do manage to clear in the bottom rune spot. I'm sure they're expecting someone to show up. In fact, Thompson will oblige the roll in the life drain. And down goes Thompson. Down to contest this here. See Seth getting into position. Nice blinding light. Stoneman rolling on out. Skylark is still here. Wish over the back lights. Getting the life drain off. Over to their hole. Needs to be careful, though, because they grab right back and triplicate. Doing a lot. Of he comes through as well. Wish goes down. And now it looks like they'll be able to claim themselves a pelt to the bear as the rest of Brave on the run. Ooh, Thompson. He was hoping he could grab Stoneman in here. Not going to be able to quite find it, but he'll find Spartan instead and chase after him. Get himself a double kill. Stoneman running now from Ana. Oh, the block comes spirit and now it is just the tanky skylark who is left and it's not looking like he's gonna survive this although they look like they'll back off a little bit here but i don't know teleports coming out the buyback from stoneman and they want this kill on no till they need to get something from this so they will be able to collect that kill on the position five but look at this look at thompson look at on so they're coming right back in again they can be on the slash off and down goes stoneman and skylark now chasing after them is silenced up but again he's a big tanky boy let's put some more damage they throw out that blast and they just don't have anything to cancel out this teleport from Ana, so he is out where he wants to go. He sees Seb over there. No tail. All right, the split is over. It's going work in their favor, but Thompson on the back line, hoping maybe that he can get a quick pick off, make this a little bit easier for them. There's no four step yet over onto Spartan, so he is going to go down. But they'll be able to return and get themselves a kill. Now it's no tail next to Paul. They don't have vision over here onto Thompson, but they get the roll forward over here onto Seb. Seb, he needs help to kick back. He's in. just surrounded by too many of these heroes. He's not looking like he's going to survive this. Down he goes. Wish gets himself a double kill. They did. Protect yourself overall versus the dispels because there's a brewmaster. So there's a lot of different ways covering and protecting himself. And then play. Like if they do get the jump onto the high, they're going to get the high. Get the deep reps off as initiation. All right. Yep. The split gets used here. Buck Sox are taking a lot of damage. They'll turn right back around. They'll get to kill on Stoneman. And he's going to buy back against Skylark. He's a big tanky boy. So they're just trying to ignore him. And they're just ripping apart these pandas here. They want to get rid of No Tail if possible. They're just leaving Skylark kind of high and dry over on the back end. It looks like he's going to be able to survive. Gets the ravage off. As a follow-up, Thompson, he was hunting, he wanted Wish, but he's not going to be able to get it because it looks like Focus won't be able to collect himself a kill here. Rambles will hold him into place. The storm and oh, he's hungry. He wants that kill on No-Tail. Focus just running around a big old angry bear here. Throws out the end right. Chases after out. Chases after Soxa. Wish is going to be the one who gets the kill. To Decrepify over the side. The roll from Storm and the kick back over the flight three. This is a dead end if I've ever seen one. And now Seb, he looks like he's going to be the next one to fall despite the fact he's using this bullwhip. Trying to get out. They wanted to play the game and they're delivering right now. Working advantage. This is not looking good here for Sox as he gets found by Focus and Stoneman. And he's not going to be the big old bear, that's for sure. Top lane, they see Thompson. They want this kill. They'll knock him back. They throw out the gush. And uh, excellent. He was he was absolutely the standout from him and Wish were the two that were just really surprising with some of their moves. On the bottom, they got uh, the bash connection. Teleports are coming out as well here. You've got that near motion. No coming out with Stoneman and Fallen with a beautiful blink ravage. They do manage to get the split off of Seth pushing all the way back over here. Uses the RP. It doesn't seem to do a whole heck of a lot. This Illuminate is going to get tossed out. And Skylark will go down. They already got the ravage on Focus. Will go down. There. Stoneman and is. They're a little far. They're a little bit too deep here. As down goes Stoneman and now Focus is just trying to focus on someone. This is going to hit off over here on the Dark Willow. But you're right back again. Well, punish them for diving just a little bit too far here. Brain, but I also was very reluctant to just jump on the OG train. It's been it's been some time since they had to pass some rough 
situations to it now. RP, Skyla. RP, Skyla. He, oh, he almost manages to get out, but down he goes. Spartan now running for his life. He's going to have to leave Stormin' behind here. As no tilt will turn back around, or rather focus is uh, jumped in over here. Stormin' rolling forward. Just a couple of these nice hits off. Those grooves coming in handy. Focus. Still trying to run away. The Bramble holding them into place. No tail. Oh, but look at this one. She's got to be the little battery who keeps them alive. A Stormin' does indeed get left behind. He is going to be the sacrifice. But they do manage to get focus out. Got to wait for that Ravage. Don't think you want to be... Five seconds, they start looking to go. They Sleeping Dart, Thompson trying to just clean up on Stormin' and immediately they follow up with the Decrepify. And that is the BKB though, and the double damage effect of the coming out from Stormin' follow up with the Ravage, and it just barely clips them at the very edge of this here. Stormin' buys back, and when it comes up, they're not finding a great position right now. This is looking really bad here for Wish, as he's caught in the middle of it, does have an A on this though. He's gonna be all right, but Stormin' is taking too much damage. He just fought back, he can't afford to go down here. Wish goes down, Stormin' goes down. They don't have the Ravage, Spartan now trying to run for his life. As Skylark also just leaving the area. Oh, the jump forward. They want this kill on the coddle. They're going to be able to get it. It's a double kill now for Thompson. And focus. Oh, focus. He's chasing after a fairy and he can't quite get his claws on her. But you know what? No tail will be able to get the kill on the bear. The blade. Yeah, he really was. <laughs> Six and one and 11. No, he made the one little trip up where he just died. Like that. I think he's allowed one. Jump in, though. The push back immediately over here on. That is not the place he wants to be right now. They even go and use the Terrorize. He's just dead. Down for 89 seconds. Tower's just getting chopped away. Feels bad, man. Down goes the tower. The racks are going down. Spartan is just too forward here. As he uh, is going to get saved here for a moment. But I'm sure as soon as that wears off, he is dead. Anna is just running at them now. Sleeping Dark getting tossed out here by Thompson. We'll get a roll out. Be able to go do a life train, but he doesn't seem to care. He's got an Aegis. This dart is super annoying. The cast range is so far. It actually is really obnoxious and allows his team to set up. Okay, there we go again. Okay, well, it looks like they might be able to get the kill on Thompson, but Stominen was just pushed too far out here. Oh, this is not looking good now for the Tide Turkey. He's trying to get himself into the base, and no deal 